everyone this is the lovely miss time and today i'm going to be addressing feminism and how it can be very destructive specifically i'm going to talk about the self-proclaimed independent women who take the slogan way too far especially educated women <clears throat> or shall i say educated fools who feel like they can look down their nose at people. First of all, I want you to understand something about my background. Majority of the women in my life have advanced degrees and are highly intelligent women. But here's the clincher. You guys, some of them are very bitter, very self-righteous, very emotionally maladjusted and their womanhood is so far off base. I believe in higher education. I want to go as far as my money and intellect will take me. Hopefully to the doctorate level. Hopefully somebody will be calling me Dr. Miss Dime someday. But if I never accomplish that, I know that I'm an intelligent, articulate woman and I don't have to beat my chest and prove to the world how smart I am by throwing out $50 words and looking down my nose at somebody and quoting the GRE word list to make me feel superior so I can have my nose in the air at black tie events. That is not my forte. I'm cut from a very different cloth and I've been criticized because I was told I'm a yes woman because I don't want to have that attitude. Having an attitude and having this superiority complex, all of that stuff and the whole independent woman, I don't need a man type of syndrome sounds like the rantings of a bitter and cynical woman instead of a graceful, naturally beautiful, flowing flowery personality and that doesn't mean you don't bring the fire and ice because believe me Miss Dime can bring it when it needs to be brought but you don't bring it when it doesn't need to be brought and you use enough discernment to determine when it needs to be brought everything doesn't require a rolling of the neck everything doesn't require an attitude some things require you to assert yourself. Some things require you to be that neck rolling. It's going to be some com consequences and repercussions up in here type of sister. But not all the time. You have to learn how to bring it down a notch. Because that's going to run a good man away. Um, there are people in my family who feel that finances should be hidden from a man and they feel that they can look down their nose at certain men because they've reached a certain level of education but a lot of these women are unhappy they are very bitter individuals as I said and feel like the world owes them something you spent all that time trying to climb the corporate ladder due to yes a boss and kiss master's tail and it didn't do anything for your life yeah you got paid but you're a slave to the system now you have all this money in the bank and where is the man wait a minute wait a minute where is he hello guy where are you oh that's right he's gone because you pushed him away with your can cankerous attitude and don't look down at me because I'm younger and have less relationship experience. But I bet when I'm in one, the next one I'm in, my husband will definitely feel like king of the castle and not queen. And it doesn't mean that I have to be subservient and walk two steps behind him. Understand something. That just means that I know my role and I know my place as a woman and that is to build a home, build a life, have a nurturing home, have a place 
where he can come to for solace from the dog eat dog world. As a black man, he is beat up so much in society. When he comes home, he doesn't want a battlefield. He wants a soft, gentle woman. Not to say that when he shows his tail, you don't say anything, but you don't fight a person who's there to support you and will let you shine. There are some men out there who don't mind their women getting to higher heights and achieving everything they need to achieve. But in that achievement, still realize that you are a woman inside and that is graceful, that is something to be cherished. There's supposed to be some type of maternal caring instinct there and that has been replaced oftentimes in this day and age by a robotic I have to have this many zeros behind my bank account I have to drive this type of car I have to have this type of appearance because I'm not going to get into the country club or the junior league won't let me in or ooh what are the people going to think if I show up with a man who's a janitor and I'm CEO of a company, child please, if a man is getting up every day going out into a workforce that does not really want him there because he's an intelligent man and the one thing white supremacists feel and even people who aren't racist but they may still have these ideas fear is an intelligent capable strong black man he's going out and operating monday through friday or monday through sunday in that system in the leap and you can't even support him that's pathetic but but you can brag to all your friends about your accomplishments and point at the multiple degrees on your wall but you can't highlight a man i don't care if he picked up cans for a living. I would go on my computer since I'm a since I'm a web design major, I would make flyers and go door to door and give a person a flyer or make him a website so people would know. I don't care. Everything that I do would be for the betterment of the relationship, not for my own personal gain. Because I don't recall you being able to take your money with you when you die. So many people are just so obsessed with money and obsessed with success that they're willing to do it at any cost. And that cost is greater than, than anything they can imagine. Some people are alone and lonely because of the choices that they made. It's not to say these women are bad. They're just their priorities are misplaced. My first and foremost role in this world is a woman. It's not a notice I didn't say career woman. I say a woman who is there to compliment the right man, not to emasculate him, not to make him feel like my son, even if he makes less money. I, he he is still going to be treated with honor and respect and be treated like the Nubian king he is. What does money really matter? Yes, I want nice things. Yes, I like the cosmetics and perfume department at Macy's, but if he can't ever buy me that, I'm not going to make him feel like less of a man. Um, I just feel that so many people are locking themselves out of the thing that is the essence of life and that's love and being able to wrap your arms around another human being and share yourself with that person and they are selling out for a dollar and some change something you can't even take with you when you die and all this secret bank account mess it just really bothers me um this our money your money my money type of mentality people forget that marriage is also a covenant and not a contract you stood before these people you pledged your love and devotion to this person but 
you want to keep money from them because you're afraid that they might take it from you. You don't want to put the person's name on the deed because if y'all get a divorce, he might take it from you. I would take my chance. I'm going into the marriage with the mentality that it's going to last not anticipating my chess moves so that he doesn't he doesn't checkmate me but in in the courtroom and walk away with half my money so what i'm in a marriage i'm there to be an equal partner i'm not there to have no mission impossible mission to keep something from my husband why if i chose the right person there should be no secrets there should be be nothing under the sun that I couldn't discuss and tell my husband. Not to say that you shouldn't protect yourself because people do steal identities. People do rob you blind. But like I said, that that's where being selective comes into play. A man is not measured by how many dollars and cents he puts in the bank account, but he is m measured by his moral fiber and walking in spiritual authority and using that moral compass in being a man and that's not determined by a level of education or whatever because I know people who graduated from the school of hard knocks and they haven't gone to higher education and they can run circles around some men who have had higher education. A lot of these people are educated dummies and they think they're so much better than people who did not have that I am not advocating for any reason that you shouldn't pursue an education but I'm saying that that doesn't entitle you to have your nose crunched up at other people there are good good men out there who work hard that for some reason they didn't pursue a degree so what that doesn't make a man a better catch necessarily because he doesn't have a degree. And these women, oh, I, I haven't met my equal. I want to meet somebody who can match me in finances. You go right ahead. And while you have all that pride and stuck up energy, good luck with that. I mean, how is that working out for most of you that have that um, thing? A lot of women are going to be upset at me, but I have to speak the truth. And it really hurts me more than it hurts you. Like your mama says after she gave you a spanking. And I just have to be mama dime on y'all right now. It's, it's the truth. And this attitude is, is, is exactly the whole Willie Lynch thing that was set up. It was not set up for you to fight and be combat combative. You don't want to fight for the betterment of the black community, but you want to fight against a good man that's there trying to build something with you. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm almost out of time, but I hope that you all, some of you all ponder on what I've said. This message is clearly not for everybody because some people aren't going to be rece receptive, but oh well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.